Hey YouTube, this is FXDude79. About a year and a half ago, I posted a video on YouTube showing everybody how to access your computer and control it with a jailbroken iPod. Since then, that video has become one of the most successful videos on my YouTube account with over 7,000 views. And today, it's all coming back. Without the little squeaky annoying voice. Before the revolution of the App Store for iPhone and iPod Touch, you had to jailbreak your iPod to get third-party applications. That has all changed now due to the App Store. I'm going to show you how to get a few applications that you can use to control your computer just like with Touchpad Pro. No jailbreaking necessary. I'm going to start off with the paid applications and then get down to the free applications. The first application, and my favorite application, is called Jadu VNC, formerly known as um, Teleport. Now, as you can see, it comes up with a very simple list, with a list of computers. If you're on an iPhone, this will most likely find your computer for you. All you have to do to access your computer is enter your IP address, and then save it, and tap on it, and you will be able to instantly connect to your computer. Now, if you watch the old Touchpad Pro video, you know there's a background application called Tight VNC running. In this, it's no different. Luckily, Type VNC still supports Jadu VNC, so you will be able to use the same program. To add your computer onto Touchpad Pro, simply start up Jadu VNC. You should see a little V in the corner of your screen. Roll your mouse over the icon, and you will get your IP address. Then go over to Touchpad Pro, or excuse me, <laughs> Jadu VNC hit the plus button, then add a name, and the address. Oops. Let me just check that real quick. Now that you have your address, go back, type in your security if you have any. and change your computer. You can do Mac, Windows, or Linux, which is amazing. And it supports all of them. Then hit Save Server. Okay, so I just figured out that Jadu VNC is $25, which is, seems like a lot, but it's definitely worth it in case, because uh, it's much more stable, much more easy to use. The next applications I'm going to show you are Mocha VNC and Mocha VNC Lite. Mocha VNC costs $5.99 and Mocha VNC Lite is obviously free. When you start up Mocha VNC or Mocha VNC Lite, you're going to see an application that looks pretty much like this. Uh, it's very simple layout. Just hit Menu, Edit Connections, and add a list. Pretty much just like um, Jadu VNC. You can usually use the, uh, leave the servers alone, by the way. Then hit connect. It'll connect you up. Same thing. Um, obviously, on the screen, it doesn't do anything. Um, I'm not sure exactly if that is a um, a feature that um, Mocha VNC provides because this is Mocha VNC Lite. So I'm not sure if, or maybe it's just a bit late. I'm not sure. Um, but apparently, if you click on buttons, the mouse will move there. So this is a bit more confusing. But it is free, and free is always good. Yeah, there we go. So it still it still controls your computer. You can still use the keyboard feature, which is nice. So I just logged out there. Um, all right. So that's Mocha VNC and Mocha VNC Lite. They're about the same. So I'm not going to do videos for both of them. And those are the applications. Um, obviously, there is very easy ways to control your computer with your iPod Touch now that the App Store is out. Uh, free and paid ways. 
Um, so go ahead, check them out, play around with them. Uh, you know, if you have any more applications you want me to uh, check out or review for you guys on YouTube, just send them to me. Or if you have, uh, you know, another VNC application that you can use, you can leave a video response showing people uh, how to do that. Alright, thanks for watching the video, and I will see you guys later.